This is freaky. They're never, they're not. They are. Their nest is forward training, them, is there? The stairs is getting narrower. These right here are legitimate skulls. Of monks. Of monks. Honestly, that is the nastiest thing <laughs> I have ever tasted. <laughs> Look at it. That oh is God. insane. Okay, we have arrived. Got a little port wine. On the house. On the house. I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, our menu is an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> nice surprise. This will do. <laughs> oh nice, yes. Really? Yeah. Can I have your own? <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are exploring the capital of the Algarve, so welcome to Faro. Okay, so yes, as Amanda said, we are now in Faro. Um, I'm not really too sure if Faro is high up on the list of places um, that people actually want to visit when they come to Portugal. Uh, I think they kind of consider it a place to fly into. Obviously, the airport is in Faro, and uh, once they have arrived um, in Portugal, then they go off to other parts of the Algarve. But I have heard that Faro is in its own right very very appealing to people so uh, that's what we're here for just to kind of see uh, what the city is like it's obviously you know it's more than just the airport uh, so we are excited to see what Faro has to offer we believe there's many historical uh, kind of sites to see here it's also uh, dubbed an alternative to your trip to Portugal so it's not your typical kind of Villa Marta, Albufeira, Portimao kind of holiday so yeah we're really excited to see just exactly what Faro has to offer so we're just after coming up to this really lovely area here. It's actually called the Garden Manuel Bivar. So it's this big lovely garden area. It's surrounded by trees, gorgeous flower beds. There's some public benches with people chilling out up along it. And um, they also have market stalls set up along it. There's also a bandstand, which we did read up. There does be street music on, which just gives it a really cool vibe. They also have a stand which sells waffles and churros. When you walk up the middle of it, there's a gorgeous church to the left hand side and then when you get to the end of the garden, there is the Faro Archway which leads you into the old town. Okay, so we've come to something really cool here. So yeah, this is what I was talking about at the end of the garden. This yeah. is the Faro Archway which leads you into the old town. Okay. So, yeah, so it's, walk through it. it's symbolic. Yes. Yeah, it's looking, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. So now we're going to walk. Like a time warp from the new Faro to the, to the old. Let's go. Do you see that as well on the very top? I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But they're they never, nests. they're not. They are. Their nest is forward three of them, is there? And they're words. I don't know what type of words they are. But oh my God, they are. Their nests, yeah. Jesus. Some crack, yeah. Okay, so the actual name of this Arco is called Arco da Villa. And we're inside, it's nice and cool, nice and, uh, and shaded, yeah. I think it takes back something to do with Roman times. Is it? There is also a museum in Faro. Oh yeah, there's also something I've seen on the internet. The cathedral. There's a cathedral in Faro as well, isn't there? Okay, so we've passed through the archway into the old town, straight and off the bat. Cobblestones. Cobblestones, authentic Portuguese houses. So yeah, this is kind of going to be like going back in time, I would imagine. This is going to be cool, yeah. We're yeah. ready to explore a lot of historical sites <laughs> in the old town. <laughs> so we are at the Faro Cathedral now. It cost us three euro fifty each to enter. So yeah, this should be really nice to see.
Okay, we are on our way up the tower. Fierce amount of steps here, Samantha. The stairs is getting narrower. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's tight. It is tight, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, I thought that was a view. <laughs> Check out this. God, it's gorgeous, isn't it? God, you can see the whole town. God, this is really beautiful, yeah. Ah, yeah, look, there's the marina where we were, and then you were saying the train track, and then out there in the wetlands, there is more boats. Oh, wow. This is really, really lovely. God, there's actually 360 views around the sea. Yeah. Got some cool little bells here. Well, big bells. <laughs> cool little bells that are huge. <laughs> oh, that's big God, it's something else, isn't it? Something else. Three fifty, not 350 bad. Wasn't so bad. We didn't know we were getting these here. <laughs> this was a nice surprise. So we are just leaving the cathedral now, and that was definitely worth a visit. It was only three euros fifty each in and uh, we got to see the cathedral itself which was gorgeous and then of course the museum and then the tower at the end with the incredible views looking right over the whole city so yeah definitely worth a visit okay so yes we are on our way now to another one of Faro's historical sites it's called Igreja de Carmo is that right? I think so yeah <laughs> but it means a better job than me <laughs> it means uh, the church of Carmel and it's also known as the church of bones and if you're wondering why it's known as the Church of Bones. We're gonna show you now in a minute. This is it? This is it. The Church of Bones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Bones Chapel. The reason we are here. Yes. <laughs> nice this is freaky. Oh my gosh, and these are great as well. These are what we were talking about. These right here are legitimate skulls of monks. Of monks. And the entire chapel is made of is, skulls of is bones. built with it. Look at it. That oh is God. insane. Oh my god. That is crazy. That is some design, isn't it? Now, I have one question. We know that these are skulls, yeah? Are they actual bones, human bones as well? Or is it just the skulls they've used and we don't know. But they're legitimate skulls from monks. And I'll just try pan around the camera here. This, <gasps> it's not just the odd few. There's a thousand, I told a you. Thousand. A thousand? A thousand, it says, yeah. Hold on, like, say that again, I, a thousand. I think there's a thousand. There oh is my god. Like. That is crazy. I'm actually a little bit blown away. I know, it's crazy. I've never seen that like it. It's, like, look at that just resting there. Weird, or if it's kill, or if it's. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, we are just outside of the uh, the Chapel of Bones there. That was insane. I'm actually a little bit lost for words for it. I've never uh, seen anything like it, no, have you? Incredible, ever incredible. Like? We got a couple of things kind of uh, wrong, I suppose. The skulls weren't actually monks. They weren't monks. There they is were, another were, chapel here that right, has okay. the skulls of monks. There's another one of them. So Excuse me, phone is ringing. Hold on there. 
take the vlog some aren't they so yeah we mixed it up and um, we got some information off the guy right. that's um that you pay in and uh get you pay your admission in and basically yeah we weren't too sure we were like are they real skulls are they real bones and he said yeah they are that this there used to be a cemetery around here and basically 200 years ago um they dug up the graves and used the skulls and bones from just ordinary people to build that chapel. Cool little sign, isn't it? We do like uh, cities that have big signs like that. Remember the one in Tehran and in Belgrade? Yeah, we've been to a few of them, yeah. Yeah, they, they're a nice little touch. Uh, and this sign actually just sits right on the, um, on the marina. We actually weren't too sure that Faro had a marina, but it obviously does. And in the background there, you've got the uh, the Eva Census Hotel, which is meant to be a nice hotel around these parts of Manta. The marina is it's quite small, is it? It is quite small, but then uh, there is a railway station there. So on the other side of it. That runs in the middle there, and then on the other side, there's like a pier that brings you out. And I think oh, it's okay, right. part of, like, more, of more, of more boats. boats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I also seen we walked by a stand there a second ago. They also do boat tours from here. After booking a boat trip <laughs> we're excited um, so basically yeah over here in Faro they um, have three islands that you can visit yeah yeah they're kind of off the, the coast here so yeah and um, there's loads of along the marina there's little huts and they offer different boat trips that you can do over and we're after getting one that suits us it, um, we're, it's an hour and a half Is I it? think isn't it it's 45 minutes to it 45 and minutes to it and you get an hour and a half, half, on, half on the beach yeah. and yeah. then you get a shuttle boat then that brings you back over yeah. and the total price was 30, 30 euro for, for the of two of us for that so yeah we're excited we're going over to deserto island is yeah that the yeah that there's, there's there's a few around i don't know the names of all of them but one of them is this deserta so deserted basically yeah and uh, yeah that's the one we're going to so yeah we're excited we have our thank god we brought our beach stuff with us know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah we went back to the car and we have um our swimming suits and we're gonna get in for a swim and there's nothing on this island that's why it's not even a shop there's not even a shop but he was telling us i think three months ago there is one restaurant it on it on fire. and it went on fire so, so that's, um, that's closed so that's closed even, at the moment but, but there's literally nothing on it deserted is right yeah but it's supposed to be gorgeous and we are excited <laughs> The airport is right there by the way, that's why there's a huge plane flying in the background. Okay, we have arrived. Cheers, thank you. There's a little map here. Okay, we'll check it out now. Yeah. So we're here now and this is the map, so here we are here. Okay, the yes. It's a restaurant that Which went on fire, that one there. Went on fire there. Looks mm. like they're doing work to it now. Um, then Lifeguard we have three, Beach. Lifeguard Beach. Four. This looks interesting here, it's like a like an altar or something, I don't know what it is, but boardwalk trail and desert to be. Okay, so yeah, we basically just showed you the map there of what's actually on the island and what you can do. But because we're only here for the hour, we have decided that we're going to just chill out and relax and just enjoy the beach and get in for a swim.
Okay, so swimming in the sea, done. Time to get back on the boat. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, very sharp but sweet. But uh, yeah, it's time to get back to the mainland now. Okay, back on land. Back on the mainland. That was a great trip, wasn't it? It was, it was good fun. We cool little beach. Definitely recommend it if you're in Faro to yeah, check go out over and check out one Isla of the Isla Deserta. Island, or yes. some, one of the other ones, exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry, we were just talking earlier about the islands. This is kind of them here. Uh, Praia de Faro, obviously the, the local beach, Deserta, that's where we were. Faro is another island. Uh, Hangaras and Do Colatra. They are also islands that you can go and visit. So we have just stopped off for something to eat in a little tapas restaurant. It was just down one of the little side streets. This is the name of it here. What's that say? Pedras? Seve Pedras? Wine bar and restaurant. Oh, very nice. So we went for three different options. Uh, vegetarian this time. <laughs> so our first one is some cheese. I think there's like honey. Curd cheese from mm. the Algarve, they said. With some honey and almonds. Honey, almonds, and some strawberries and some raspberries. They also come with a little bit of some bread. Mm. So this is gonna be uh, number one. Looks good. It does look good. Oh, here's option two and three. Oh. And this is the is hummus, the yeah? Hummus, yeah. The hummus with fried garlic, almonds, and uh, garlic powder. That's lovely. Thank you so much. So this is hummus with kind of like tortillas, and then these are baked potatoes. They smell so good. They look amazing. They smell say, so yeah? good. So we got the cheese, we've got the hummus, and we have the spuds. Excited. Ready to dig in? <laughs> okay, number one is the cheese. Cheese and bread. The cheese is like a fair cheese. Is it? And Jackpot. the honey goes really well with it. Really? Yeah, I didn't know how I felt about the honey, but it was yeah, yeah. really, really nice. Did you have any almonds in it? Um, I don't know, I picked up a bit of almonds. I couldn't really taste them, but um, it does have the almonds in it. Really? But you have to try it, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a feta cheese, lovely. It's like a feta cheese, our favourite. <laughs> so time Number for two. some potato. Rosemary or something, is that Rosemary what it said in the menu? pepper and then some Olive oil. oil. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Better than the cheese? I don't know. No. <laughs> These are delicious. They're lovely, aren't they? And lastly. So now time for some hummus. Hummus, yeah. paprika. Almonds again. Some almonds again. Almonds yeah. frenzy. Might as well pack it up a little bit because why not? It's only um, one wrap each. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Is that your first time to have hummus? I don't like it. You don't? <laughs> the hummus is a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nastiest thing I have ever tasted in my life. It's nasty. <laughs> I had a little bit there and I uh, I agree, Smadi. Oh it's my it's God, not good. I don't even know what that is. It's, it's just... not good. I've had hummus before, but that's... Uh, that doesn't go. There's like a lemon flavor off it. There's just... It's very, very strong. Very it's strong. very, very strong and, and very sour. Very sour. Just not my cup of tea at all. No. No. Yeah, it's alright. It's not great. It's not great. So the hummus is a... That's a thumbs that's down. That's a thumbs down. <laughs> well, 
the cheers. The potatoes and the cheese have made up for it, so they're really nice. Okay, cool. Cheese, honey, almonds, and bread is not a combination I would have thought of. It's really gorgeous. Like that right there is beautiful, isn't it? It's really good. I never had anything like that before. Those flavors are mint. And we were going to go for two portions of potatoes, and the girl oh, yeah, geez. convinced us to go for this. She told us, she goes, she as well. <laughs> and she said, thanks very much for taking my recommendation. Ooh. Oh, she's not watching this. So yeah, we're not doing so bad out of the three options that we ordered, three vegetarian options today. And uh, we love two of them. Hummus, get out. <laughs> okay, so we just got the bill. So the total for all of that was, Jesus, I down. <laughs> 17.60 and I got two rears, Kayla got two cokes and then the three tapas. different tastes of yeah. different tapas. So that not was bad, seven, yeah, and then as and a... we got a little port wine. On the house. On the house. So, cheers. Clink. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, nice, yes. Really? Yeah. Can I have your own? <laughs> <laughs> It stings the nostrils. <laughs> it is strong, it's quite strong. We are going to a rooftop bar completely out of left field. We came here to pick up our car and now our car is parked in this hotel and they have a rooftop bar so we're going to go for that. It's perfect. We'll bring the menu, okay? Ah, Thank you so you. much. Oh my god. Let's see. Nice surprise. This will do. <laughs> so yeah, our menu is an iPad. <laughs> Very fancy. fancy. <laughs> expensive I was really? thinking right this is going to be through the roof and like there's a sag ray for like three euro. Jeez that's not bad is it? Sag ray zero. Kilo I can have you. one of them, I'll have one of them yeah. Check your Facebook days man, don't see what you're on the iPad. <laughs> check, the, check the YouTube views. Uh, yeah, see if they've got a subscri subscribe to the I channel there on their place. iPad. This was literally a spur of the moment as Keelan said we were going to collect the car and we just noticed there was a sign saying rooftop bar. Our so car is like, parked downstairs in the hotel. It's parked downstairs because yeah. we couldn't get parked and it was so busy. We were trying to park along the marina there we can see it but there was no spaces so we found this little parking spot <laughs> and we were like right we'll go with it. We were coming to collect the car and then like that rooftop bar we we'll like, go and check it out and yes please. Yes, please. There's the fire sign. Look, we're literally right above the marina. marina. 
jackpot. Okay, drinks have arrived in this cool little spot. What a spot! I can't believe across. you just found this place, stumbled across it. It's just it's unbelievable, isn't so it? So nice. Really nice just to sit here so and nice. it's to, so chilled out. Yeah. You have gorgeous views. It's yeah. just perfect. It is. It's it perfect. Is. Cheers. Cheers. I think we'll close the vlog out here. Really. I think we'll close the vlog out here. Yeah, for sure. So um we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Sweet.